Hi everybody, this is Shauna Odette from the Flying Cat Academy. Welcome to lesson number 115. In this lesson, we will teach the student how to add suffixes to the consonant LE syllable type. Let's begin by setting up the table. You'll need your top 160 sight word list. And if you've finished that with that list, you can move on to the top 290 word list, which you can find on the flyingcatacademy.com website. Go to the guided lessons page and you'll see some sub pages in that section and you want the one called extra resources. You'll need the sight word study method instruction sheet for the teacher and the student's sight word card pack, some blank index cards, a highlighter markers, and some pencils. For the phonemic awareness drill, you'll need the teacher instruction sheet and the colored tiles for the student. Moving on to the visual drill and auditory drill, you'll need the teacher instruction sheets and the student's card pack, remembering that you're removing the sounds as they're mastered. You'll need a syllable card drill today, so you'll have to have that one cut out and ready to go. Although I will provide it in the lesson. And moving on, we'll have the magnetic letter tile drills for reading and spelling. So you'll need the teacher instruction sheets and the cookie sheet with the letters spread in a rainbow shape. You'll need the syllable pounding instruction sheet, the new phoneme grapheme kinesthetic, kinesthetic discovery sheet and the sheets for the lesson. And you may have a timer on the table. I'm hoping that you do because by this point, you'll have introduced the fluency element you need to add the fluency element because it's not part of the Orton Gillingham lessons. So you need a secondary program to do this, such as read naturally or the six minute reading solution. Let's do the sight word study method. Student, could you please take out your sight word card pack? I would like you to read through all of the words in your card pack. After you read a word correctly, put a check mark in the corner of the card. Once you're finished reading all the cards, hand the card pack to your teacher, and then it's your teacher's turn to read. Your teacher will read each word and student, it's your job to write the words down. After you write a word correctly, put a check mark in the corner of the card on the other side. When you're finished with the task, have a quick discussion with your teacher about which of those words has been mastered. The mastered ones will be removed from the card pack. This leaves space so that you can introduce a new sight word. Now it's time for the phonemic awareness drill. Student, could you take out your colored tiles, please? Your word is ban. Can you repeat that word? When you prohibit something, when you stop something, you might put a ban on it. So I might ban, like outlaw is another way to think of that. Like I will ban cigarettes because they're so bad for your health. Okay, I would like you to spell the word ban with your colored tiles. Remember that we're just working with sounds. And then tap it and say it. Do you have three different colors there? If you do, that's right. Find the A ah in ban. Change the A ah into an R. And what's your new word? Tap it and say it. Did you say barn? If you did, that's right. Don't let the horse out of the barn. Okay, now find the R in barn. Change the R into or. Now tap and say your new word. Did you say the new word is born? If you did, that's right. Find the or in born. Change the or into er. Can you say that sound? Okay, make the change and tap and say it. Did you say that your new word is burn? I left it on the on the stove too long and it burned burn okay find the n in burn and remove the the n what are you left with tap it and say it did you say burr if you did that's right great job you can put your tiles away now let's do the visual drill student what is the sound of this one did you say a 
if you did this right, this is a vowel team that often happens at the end of words like pay or say. Teacher, do about six to eight flashcards in this way. Now let's do the auditory drill. Student, your sound is E. Can you repeat that sound? Now, how many different graphemes do you know to write the sound E? Write them all down now. And as you're writing them, say E. And then when you're finished, underline them and say E again. Okay, and then we'll check your work. There's a lot of them, so I'm giving you some time here. Did you say E, the long E? That's correct. And then we learned about some vowel teams that can do that. E, 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 A, and E, Y. And how about IE as in in movie or field um, that can do that as well. You've learned a lot of ways to make that one sound, haven't you? Okay, teacher, do about six to eight flashcards in this way. In our last lesson, we discussed how sometimes there's this doubling of consonants that occurs when we are dealing with the consonant LE syllable type. In this word, ripple, if I separate the two syllables, it's much easier to see why this happens. We have to have the P in the first syllable because this is a closed syllable. So can you tap and say the first syllable? Er, I, P, rip. And in that second syllable, we have to have the P, L, E because the P is necessary because it's the consonant L, E syllable type. So you have to have the consonant there to make rip, pull. If we didn't have it, then we'd have an open syllable and the I would say its name and that word would be ripple. If we want to have the short I, we have to have a closed syllable. And that's why that second P is necessary. Today we're going to do a syllable card drill and we're going to talk about what happens when we have the K sound at the end of the closed syllable. In this case, we're going to use a C. So we'll have the CK combo that happens. So we got BUC and then KEL. And we do this because we don't like to double the K in English. We avoid doing that. We have to have the double sound. And just like here, it's okay because we, we can double P's in English. But when we're dealing with the K sound, we don't double the K. So the C steps in to make that K sound. So buckle would be B-U-C-K-L-E. And now you can just read right down. And if, you, if your teacher has this one on the table, then you can just pause me here and do it yourself. Now let's do some syllable pounding. Student, can you repeat this word? Unshackle. I might say, if I was a prisoner and I was in irons, I might take off my chains and I would be unshackled. I'd be free of them. Okay, how many syllables do you hear in the word unshackled? Well, let's pound it out. Unshackled. I hear three in that one. Try this one. Rebuckle. Can you say that word? Now, how many syllables are in rebuckle? Pound it out. I'll do it this way. Rebuckle. Three. Knuck. How about that word? How many syllables? Not a real word. There's only one that uh sound. How about this one? Knuckle. Two. Okay. I would like you to pull out your scooping syllables worksheet. And as you work through this worksheet, and teacher, you can take out the answer key, I would like you to discuss your thinking student because that's always a great thing to do. We have been discussing this consonant LE syllable type. I'll put up the rule card here and student, you can take out your rule card if you'd like. And I would like you to explain to your teacher what it means to be a consonant LE syllable type. What do you know about this syllable type? 
Pause me here while you make that explanation. Now let's talk about the story that we use to remember the consonant LE syllable definition. You can talk about the story that I provided in the last lesson, or you could talk about the one that you made up. I'll put the graphic up here if, if you want to use my story. Have a quick discussion, but tell that story now to your teacher. Let's move into the new content part of the lesson. Student, could you read this word, please? If you're wondering if the I is a long I or a short I sound, then you just look over here and ask yourself, is the T doubled? It's not, so you know that the div division must happen here. So T-I must be an open syllable. So how would you read this? T-I. Oh, title. In today's lesson, we're going to discuss what happens when we want to add a suffix to the end of a consonant LE syllable type. Do you have any guesses about what might happen? If we look at the structure of the syllable type, we know that it's ending in a silent E. And we have another syllable type that we've learned about that ends in a silent E. Which one's that? the vowel consonant silent E. And just like in that syllable type, if we want to add a suffix that begins with a vowel, and I'll just pull one out here. Ing is probably the most common one that we like to use, so let's do that. Okay, so I would like to change title into title ing. Let's follow the rules of vowel consonant silent E. And I'm going to take that E, I'm going to drop the E and add the ending. Do you remember how we, we did that? We practiced going drop the E and add the ending. So if your teacher has this one on the table with magnetic letters, just like I do, then you could actually touch it and you could drop it and add the ending. If not, then just use your hand and I want you to go drop the E and add the ending. Can you say that with me? Let's drop the E and add the ending. Now, if I had, if it, maybe it's not ing that I want to add. Maybe I want to make title into titles. Would I have to drop the E here? Apply the same rules that you know from the vowel consonant silent E syllable type. And the answer is no, you just slam it on because S is not a vowel. So these spelling rules that we were always talking about they're relating to what happens when the suffix starts with the vowel. Okay, let's look at another example. Student, could you tap and say this word? B-U-C-K-L-E. This word is buckle. And if I want to turn buckle into buckling, it was buckling under my weight, then apply the rule. And teacher, have you put the magnetic letter tiles out so the student can actually like move them around? That would be great. But if not, then we're going to, say it with me, we're going to drop the E and add the ending. What would happen if I want to add ED to buckled? How would you do it? Well, just follow the rule. We have to drop the E and add the ending. It's important to know that because it looks like what we did was just add ed, but you have to know that's not what happened. We didn't end up with two e's at the end of this word because we dropped the e and add the ending. Let's practice with this concept of how to add suffixes to the consonant le syllable type by doing the magnetic letter child drill for reading. Student, could you take out your cookie sheet with your letters spread in a rainbow shape for this one? Okay, your sound is b. Can you repeat that sound? Now find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Your sound is u. Can you repeat that sound? Now find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Your sound is g. 
Can you repeat that sound? Now find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Your sound is oh. Can you repeat that sound? Now find the correct tile or tiles and pull them to the middle. Now tap and say the word. Did you say this word is bugle? If you did, that's right. A bugle is like a trumpet. Okay, I would like you to turn bugle into bugling, which would sound like bugling. How would you do this? Make the changes now. Okay, did you drop the E and add the ending? Because that suffix begins with a vowel. If you did, that's right. So you'd end up with B-U-G-L-I-N-G. Okay, put those tiles back and get ready for a new word. Can you say B? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Can you say I? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Can you say B? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. Can you say O? Oh? Find the correct tile or tiles and pull them to the middle. Now tap and say your word. Did you say this word is Bible? If you did, that's right. It's an open syllable and then a consonant LE syllable. Okay, I would like you to turn Bible into Bibles. There are multiple Bibles on the table. How would you do it? Make the changes now. Okay, did you spell this one B-I-B-L-E-S? If you did, that's right. We keep the E in this situation because the suffix is not beginning with a vowel, so no spelling rule kicks in. Okay, teacher, if you have time, you can do another word or two in this way. And if not, then have the student read the single word list, then the short story, and then move on to the fluency element. Now let's do the magnetic letter tile drill for spelling. Student, you're going to need your cookie sheet with your letters spread in a rainbow shape for this one. Your word is prickle. Can you repeat that? I might say the cactus was sharp. It had, a, had I touched my finger to one of its prickles. Prickle. So prickle is the word. What's the first sound that you hear in prickle? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. What's the next sound that you hear in prickle? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. What's the next sound that you hear in prickle? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. What's the next sound that you hear in prickle? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. What's the next sound that you hear in prickle? Find the correct tile and pull it to the middle. And what's the last sound that you hear in prickle? Find the correct tile or tiles and pull them to the middle. Now tap and say the word. Make any spelling changes you need to make. Did you spell this word P-R-I-C-K-L-E? If you did, that's right. This is an example of how we use the C to make the K, that hard C sound, um, when we have a K-L-E situation in the consonant L-E part of the word. Okay, I would like you to change prickle into prickling. Uh, the cactus was prickling up. I don't even know, know if that's a thing. Prickling. I was prickling at the thought of it. Okay, did you spell this one? P-R-I-C-K-L-I-N-G. If you did, that's right. We have to drop the E and add the ending when the suffix begins with the vowel. All right, teacher, you can do another word in this way if you have time. And if not, then student, we're going to move on to writing single words. So I'd like you to take out your lined paper and a pencil. Your word is rifle. Can you repeat that word? Now I'd like you to tap out the sounds in each syllable, say the syllables, Say the whole word and write it down. Okay, did you spell rifle R I 
excuse me, R-I-F-L-E, if you did, that's right. Let's turn rifle into rifling. I was rifling through the desk. How about that? Rifling. Okay, did you spell this one? R-I-F-L-I-N-G. We drop the E and add the ending, if you did, that's right. Okay, how about this one? Giggling. Giggling. Okay, tap it, say it, write it down. Okay, did you spell this one G-I-G-G-L-I-N-G? If you did, that's right. We have the base, giggle, and the suffix, ing, and we have to drop that E and add the ending. Okay, how about this one? Crackled. Can you repeat that word? The fire crackled. How would you spell it? Tap it, say it, write it down. Did you spell this one C-R-A-C-K-L-E-D? If you did, that's right. Okay, teacher, if you have time, you can do more words in this way. And if not, then let's move on to writing sentences. Student, the teacher will read out three sentences to you, and I'd like you to choose the two that will be written. Make sure you check your work with chops. A quick review before you go. We've been talking about the consonant L-E syllable type. And we have a story that's going to help us to remember this definition. Student, can you tell your teacher the story now? I'll bring the picture up just in case you want to use my story, but feel free to tell your own story. Okay. And we've been talking about situations where it's going to be okay to have this doubling happen. And the reason, can you tell your teacher, uh, first tap and say this word. And the student, tell your teacher why the doubling happens of the D in this word. I'll give you a clue by doing that. So this word is paddle. And in order for this, this part to be a closed syllable, we have to have it closed in by a consonant and then the a will say it's a ah sound and we have to have a d on this side so that we have a consonant l e syllable type it's necessary on this side and on this side so we have to include the double d in today's lesson we talked about what happens when we want to add a suffix to a consonant l e syllable type so this word would be paddling but it's not spelled correctly what do i have to do to change the spelling of this word to make it correct tell your teacher now I have to drop the E and add the ending. So that's how we spell paddling. Okay, that's the end of lesson 115. Great job today. This is Shauna Odette from the Flying Cat Academy.